Hi there, this is Liliana and George, and this is our very first business vlog. Vlog? You mean a blog? Well, what's a vlog? A vlog is a series of videos, give or take five minutes, where we're going to talk about our experiences as entrepreneurs and different topics and issues that can be useful for entrepreneurs in the future. So we're going to talk about different topics ranging from uh, things related to the human factor, could be mindset, uh, expanding your comfort zone or effective communication, but also things like financing, uh, maybe cash flow management, uh, how to raise equity. But let's first introduce ourselves. I'm Liliana. And I'm George. And we are both entrepreneurs in the area of finance and uh, financing, uh, business consulting, entrepreneurship, and uh, we're also angel investors. If you want to find out more about our bios, you can click down there and find out who we are, our background, and why we're doing this blog. So during the month of May, we're going to focus on the human factor, starting with the mindset, uh, expanding your comfort zone, and effective communication. Okay, so let's get to business. So let's start with the mindset. That's an interesting topic, and, and you know, you can have all the knowledge and, and structure in the world, uh, but you can still struggle as an entrepreneur if you have the wrong mindset. Absolutely. And of course, when you're a beginner, when you're starting, you might fall into the imposter syndrome or believe that, in your heart, believe that you're not good enough. It takes a lot of courage to be an entrepreneur. Your biggest asset is yourself. And you have to work on it in order for you and your business to grow. So, uh, I mean, if you think about it, uh, the mindset is basically, I mean, your thoughts are basically electrical impulses in the brain, right? But those thoughts will trigger feelings, which are chemical substances that, you know, will trigger different feelings. You can either become confident uh, and, uh, or you can become sad and, and insecure. And that in turn will, of course, affect your actions or inactions for that matter. And uh, which, of course, will directly impact your result. I mean, this is basic psychology. But I've heard this from many life coaches and gurus and so on that talk about, you know, believe in yourself and so on. It's easier said than done. How do you think that we can influence our thoughts? How do I think? I think it's very much attached to our beliefs. What we believe and uh, what we believe about ourselves. So we can tell ourselves a lot of lies and tell ourselves that we're either great or that we're awful is that internal talk that is uh, actually affecting everything they will notice that i'm not knowledgeable enough or, or yeah all the internal dialogue that goes inside of you and you might not try not to reflect it and play the imposter syndrome so let's hope that these people don't find out that i'm a failure <laughs> but failing is not necessarily bad i mean that's how we learn absolutely uh, nobody uh, is an expert from the beginning so I read that about 80% of our thoughts are negative and 40% are about things that will never happen. So what a waste of time, right? We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this in the next vlog. So we're going to talk about expanding your comfort zone, which is what we are doing now, because this is our first video, right? But let's end with a quote related to this topic. The mind is like a garden. It will grow anything you wish to plant, beautiful flowers or weed. Do not let negative thoughts enter your mind, for they are the weeds that strangle confidence. Bruce Lee. Until next time. Bye-bye.